Hi and welcome to the Word of Faith. Today this is the daily takeaway and we're going through a series um, called Stand Firm. Um, in the previous video you um, noticed that I mentioned that it's actually easier in this world to not be a Christian. One of the reasons because of one of the reasons this is is because in a world of um, right now we're about seven point five six billion. Christians are 2.5 billion. They form the larger part um, of that equation, that whole part, that whole um, 7.45 billion. And what the enemy has done is that he has launched an all-out war against Christians. And even in the Bible, it says that in these last days, uh, there's going to be so much happening in the, in the realm of, 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 of spirits. Even in the world, it's now starting to manifest because you'll see uh, there's a lot of two spirits coming in. Even in the church coming in, um, you'll hear people starting, oh, you know, let's um, invite um, the LGBTQ uh, guys in the church. We'll preach to them and then hopefully we'll turn them. And then once they come, I mean, it's a whole show that needs a whole other, needs a whole other um, platform to just address. But um, there's so much warfare going around in the spiritual realm going on even in our minds and in our hearts because the devil is trying to take us away from God because as we affirmed in the last uh, video we have already won the victory so there's nothing really the devil is trying to do apart from you know victory the only thing that he can do is to veer us off from heading to the victory that we have uh, through Christ Jesus and that's why in First um, Peter chapter 5, verse 8, it says, Be self-controlled and alert. And this is what the Christian in this world needs. Self-control and alert. The Bible says in uh, Proverbs chapter 25 that one who is not self-controlled is like a city without gates. It's like an, a country without boundaries. So when anything comes against that country or even that city, uh, there's really no, the first uh, point of defense, which is the wall, is not there. So anything will come in and anything will go for that city. And then we have to be alert. We have to be vigilant as Christians. Uh, because, and it reads, the, your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. So there's, there's no victory that he is looking for the devil. There's no victory that he is looking to have upon Christianity or upon Jesus. Because when Christ died, he went into hell and he took the keys of life and he came up onto earth with them and then he went up in heaven with them. And so when you accept Jesus Christ into your life, as we affirmed in the last video, you have already decided to be a soldier in God's army. And so the enemy who is in the other side of that battle is already, you know, launching an all-out war against you as an individual, um, even as he does against the kingdom of heaven. And so what um, Peter urges Christians is to be self-controlled and to be alert, to resist him standing firm in the faith, because um, you know that brothers throughout the world are, are undergoing the same kind of sufferings. In this army, you're not alone. You're with 2.45 minus 1, which is you, billion people in that army. So you have so many people in that army and you have already won the victory. And so the thing that uh, Peter tells us to do is to resist the enemy. James, in, uh, in his, in his uh, book, chapter 4, verse 7, says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. And then in the next verse, he says, come near to God and he will come near to you. So you have the commander of the army, the commander of God's army coming near to you, to be with you, to stay with you, to fight with you. And he helps you, giving you grace, giving you faith, um, giving you uh, the whole armor of God, which we'll be looking at in the next video. Um, but the main message uh, for this video is to be self-controlled and to be alert. And that's, that's what um, the Christian of this um, end times, the Christian in this 21st century needs to have to be able to resist uh, the enemy and to be able to stand firm. Remember, we're talking about standing firm, with standing. And when you're standing firm, you're not just, uh, you know, even when you define stand firm, 
you stand firm when you're resisting something. You stand firm when something is coming at you, coming against you, and then you have to stand firm. So there's already things coming at you. There's already forces coming at you. There's already traps set before you. But the, 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 the thing uh, that we're talking about today, the concept that we're talking about today is standing firm. God has even sent his angels. In Psalm 91, we read that God has commanded his angels concerning you to lift you up. Uh, when you fall down, um, you will trip, but then you will not fall down. They will lift you up. So the thing is to stand firm, to be self-controlled and also to be alert. Because the devil is like a lion. He's roaring al around like a, like a lion. It's, it's, a, it's a tongue twister for uh, friends from uh, Central. It's like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. So uh, remember, as we stand firm, um, two things are that we need to have is to be self-controlled and also to be alert, to be very vigilant. Because anything, the devil is very sneaky and crafty. He's going to use anything to come at you. So be blessed. And I pray uh, that your self-control, fruit of the Holy Spirit, will be part of you in this week. Uh, have a good week and Barak.